the patient is 31 years old, about 40 weeks into pregnancy, and elected to have a cesarean section delivery procedure. The infant is positioned head down, facing the mother's right side. The patient is placed in a supine position with a drape screen set up. Working spinal or epidural anesthesia is administered. The procedure starts with a fan and steel incision, dividing the skin as well as the subcutaneous fat. The rectus fascia is exposed and is also divided. The rectus abdominis muscles can then be separated bluntly, revealing the peritoneum layer underneath. The peritoneal cavity is carefully entered, and the incision is extended along with the muscles. The lower uterine segment is exposed. The vesico-uterine peritoneum is identified and divided sharply in order to mobilize the bladder off the lower uterine segment. Blunt dissection extends inferiorly. A Balfour retractor is inserted to protect the bladder from injury. An incision is made on the uterine surface and developed bluntly until the infant's head can be seen. The infant's head is gently flexed. and is lifted to the level of the skin incision, while fundal pressure is applied. The anterior shoulder is then delivered. Followed by the remaining shoulder and torso. The infant is transferred to the care team after the cord is clamped and cut. A section of the cord is collected for analysis, and the placenta is delivered subsequently. The uterus is exteriorized for closure, using two layers of sutures. The first layer is repaired using a locked, continuous suture. The second layer is repaired in an imbricating fashion. The uterus is reintroduced into the abdomen, and the Balfour retractor, which is used to protect the bladder, is removed. The rectus fascia is closed with a continuous suture. The subcutaneous layer is closed, followed by skin closure.